Thanks for joining me again today. I have a story to tell you about something fake. Maybe you've seen fake money before, probably not, but I have. I actually used to work in a place that counted a lot of money and no, it wasn't a bank. I used to work with millions of dollars every day. Isn't that so crazy? And when you see that much money, you are bound to see some fake money. Now, it looks real, but it doesn't feel real. And some of the coloring might be a little bit off. There might be some things that are missing here and there, but when you hold it up to the light, that is when you're able to tell for sure whether it is real or fake. Today, we are going to talk about how there is only one real God. But first, reading our memory verse this week is Maddie Patterson. Jesus replied, you must love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, and all your mind. Matthew 22, verse 37. Thank you. Thanks, Maddie. Now let's get over to ancient Israel so we can hear about our story today. Awesome, I'm back. We're going to continue learning about those 10 commandments that God gave Moses. You shall not make for yourself an image in the form of anything in heaven above or on the earth beneath or in the waters below. Wow, that commandment sounds a lot like the one we heard last week. I am the Lord your God, who brought you out of Egypt, out of the land of slavery. You shall have no other gods before me. But what's different about this one is that God knew we would want something that we could see with our eyes and touch with our hands. The Israelites were God's people, but they were surrounded by so many different cultures that worshiped a ton of different and very fake gods. Now, these little G gods were generally gods that were created by human hands, but actually created by God because remember how God created everything? God created all of us. So that obviously means he knows us really well, right? Well, he knew that people would be really tempted to worship things that they made or even things that God made instead of worshiping God himself. But we know that there is only one real God. Just because these people were making up their own gods that they could see with their eyes and touch with their hands did not make them any more real. God didn't want his people, the Israelites, to take part of any of this nonsense, believing in these made up gods, except God's people didn't follow this commandment very well. They lived in Judah and it was full of idols. Years and years and years later, there was a king named Josiah that came along. He heard some Bible verses, and these verses made him realize that he needed to get rid of all of those idols. Guys, I've been reading this Bible, and it says we can't worship idols. We need to stop. King Josiah tore down all of those altars and idols that the kings before him had built. But he didn't just, you know, take them and move them to a different area and shut the door. He actually destroyed them. So they were tiny pieces or burned up. He got rid of them completely. Man, what a mess. There is so much more to this story. You can find it in 2 Kings. And there is a list of all the different places where King Josiah found these idols and altars. 
He destroyed every single one of them. He didn't want one trace left behind of these fake gods and the altars that they were worshiped on because there is only one real God. Wow, what a story. Let's head back to modern day. Maybe this story doesn't really connect with you so much because it was so long ago, or maybe because we don't actually worship statues like they did, but people do unfortunately worship other kinds of gods. Have you ever heard of Greek mythology? Now these stories sound super cool, and they kind of are, but we have to remember that they're fake. They're not real. There is only one real God. These made up characters are perfect for movies. We have to remember they are not real. So let's think about what's true about our one real God. Our God is with you all the time, even though you can't see him. Our God is our friend. Our God died for our sins and came back to life again. Our God is so big. Our God is so real. Our God loves me and loves you so much. There is no fake God out there that could ever love you like our real God does. And our real God deserves our love in return and he deserves our worship. Would you please join me in prayer today? Well, God, we thank you for being you and for loving us. We know that there is only you, God, that you are the one true, the one real God. Please help us to love and follow you all the days of our lives. In your son's name, amen. Well, I have something really exciting for you again today. Yep, you guessed it. It's the Super Fun Science Lab. Welcome back to the Super Fun Science Lab. Today, we talked about how there's only one real God. And we also talked about real versus fake. Today, we will be mixing some chemical solutions that look like juice, but they're not. And we will be using our olfactory system to determine whether it is juice or not. But what's an olfactory system? According to Merriam-Webster, Olfactory is of or relating to the smelling sense. We're going to make our first solution with sodium hydrogen sulfate. We're going to put 10 drops in. And to make yellow, we need citric acid and sodium carbonate. And to make a bluish purple solution, or blurple, I will need sodium carbonate. And now we're going to add this solution here, which is called thymol blue. We're going to put equal amounts in each cup and let's see what happens. Sorry, I blocked you from seeing, but those are super cool colors, aren't they? And now this is a super easy part. I'm just gonna mix some juice. I have Kool-Aid packets. Cherry flavor is first. The next is lemonade for yellow. And lastly, we have grape for purple. Now let's add the water. And now we have to mix it because there's a lot of Kool-Aid powder in each of these small cups. Now we're going to test our lab assistant Jack to see if he can tell what is real juice and what is fake juice. But I better put some spoons in this one so they look exactly the same. Okay, now I'm gonna go get Jack to see if he can tell what's real and what's fake. Okay, so Jack, I mixed some chemical solutions which you should never drink. And I also mixed some Kool-Aid juice. Can you smell it? It smells pretty good. I can smell it. Okay, 
So why don't you start with the purple ones on the end? Can you tell me by using your olfactory senses, which one is juice? This one smells fantastic. What does it smell like? It smells like grape juice. Okay. I'm not gonna tell you if you're right yet though. How about the yellow one? I like this one. What does it smell like? It smells like lemonade. Awesome. Okay. What about the red ones? Like this one. What does it smell like? It smells like? like cherries. Cool. Well, you got 100%, so good job. You could get a gold star. Thanks for joining us for the super fun science lab today. I hope you enjoyed it. Join us again next week for some more fun, sciencey things. Bye bye.